What is wrong? Can you spot the fault here? And it's not a misprint, first of all. This is very dangerous. I want to get to it. Hopefully I don't, uh, I don't bore you with this, but this is very important. I have contacted the NOARC themselves to find out if I'm mistaken or who's mistaken here because there's very confusing. If you look there, it's negative, positive. Here you get positive, negative. This is how it's supposed to be, as it's shown there as well. One is negative, three is positive, two is positive, three is negative. This is connected wrong. It's very dangerous. And it's not Noah, just Noah. There's quite a lot of them in the market. Let's go to another product. Ernesto. There are some that's not, but make sure. See, see again here. It says positive left, negative right. You cannot swap them around. It's specific. It's polarity sensitive. There it shows you as well. Positive at the bottom, negative at the and then negative on, on the left hand side, negative. Can you see that? Let's go to another. See the confusing, confusement. Here it is again, positive, negative. And here on this drawing it shows positive, positive, negative, negative. KC6-LD. Same code, kc 6 LD. Totally different. Make sure which one you've got in. This product is sold like this. Can you see the problem? Okay. I'm going to show you a letter that I've got from Noah himself. Here's the other one from Noah. So this one shows non-polarity. But this, I'm not sure. I tried to get a info from it. It still doesn't have a, a chamber to kill the DC arc. But you can put it from the bottom, you can put it from the top, and it's non-polarity sensitive. Polarity, non-polarity. They don't always say it, but make sure about it, and you can, you're going to see now why. So yeah, a bit of advertising. This is a product we're going to bring in, non-polarity. There's quite a few makes that's non-polarity as well. I think there's Thomson, there's Fio, there's Saab, Aishwish, um, Nader, Nad, Nad, Nader. There's quite a few of them. Make sure you will see it on the, sh on the sign. This one doesn't show anything. Can show, it just shows you can put it from the top and the bottom. Let's go to the catalog. You can Google anything these days. Make sure, Google your breakers. Make sure you buy the right things. So here's the product uh, of Saab. We will go through everything, but I want to show you on the, on the 2P. Let's go to the 2P. There it shows you. It's got one, two, three, four. Positive or negative, positive or negative, doesn't matter. And this is not just a cross. You can put it from the top or from the bottom. And this is what it's all about. So I'm going to quickly read through what a DC breaker has to do, and then we're going to come back to this. What is a DC MCB? The thermal protection in a DC MCB prevent overload current which is only slightly larger than the normal operating current. When a higher fault current occurs, the magnetic protection will trip the DCMCB and the response is always, inst is always in, uh, instantaneous. DCMCBs can be used to protect a single load that uses DC power and it can also be used to protect main circuits such as inverters and photovoltaic battery packs. The arc extinguishing point of the DC MCB is higher. In, a DC, in DC the voltage is continuous and the arc is, is constant, which is more difficult to disconnect than AC MCBs. 
the DC arc is not self-extinguished, ex this means that they are only uh, they can only be extinguished by cooling of me mechanical interruption. Therefore, the DC MCB must include an arc extinguishing extinguishing measures. They usually have mechanisms that ex uh, to extend the uh, dissipate the arc to simplify interruptions. So this is why some of the MCBs will be more expensive because there's, there's lots of other things in them than just a normal trip. So first of all, you can always look at the, it can always take a good solid stainless steel. The cover is PV flame retardant. They show tests there as well. It's got the electromagnetic release for the short circuit protections. Uh, it's got an indication win window where you can see if, if it's red, it's, it's on, if it's green, it's safe. Buy metal overload protection. And uh, yeah, so then it's got, and this is the main thing, this is the arcing chamber, rapid arc extinguisher. So the arc will come in and it will extinguish the arc through this chamber and cool it down and it will not go, uh, you know, it won't arc, it will kill the arc. And that's the main thing, that's why they are different. Here is just one of the tests that they have to go through to get CE ratings, 960 degrees flame retardant test. So they do all these tests, CE certification. Some of the other products will also have a CE certification, but on the specs that they do and the application is different. Uh, some of these DC breakers are just using for DC motors to start up. Um, it doesn't have such a big arc, but on solar people, be careful. Let's quickly go to the lead. So I emailed NOAC themselves. And they came back to me and I'm very f thankful for them so that they can clear it up. I told them that I saw all these things and I showed them the photos and I asked them, am I mistaken or not? And it, they say, dear Johan, certainly, certainly you are correct with your assumptions. These type of circuit breakers, when connected in an inappropriate position, may burst in fire when some faults may occur, as well as even when properly connected in some abnormal situations with the panels these might be some there might be some reverse current flowing which could be as well highly inconvenient so even if they connected correctly they are dangerous and this is what i'm talking about honestly speaking the usage of this breaker has been significantly decreased since we launch in European market, the series of the the next series, which offers the same protective parameters, parameters, but without any kind of polarity, so non-polarity. That's not saying that they don't have, a, that they have an arcing chamber, but they're non-polarity sensitive. Maybe they do, have, uh, I will try to find out in any way. Please find further information in the link below. Unfortunately, yeah, they're just saying, you can read through it, that they are not in the African market. So not 100% sure who's the supplier of them all. It comes into the country. So does some of the other products. Make sure non-polarity sensitive breakers. It is very important. And you can use it as, a, if you have a non-polarity, you can throw away the fuses you can replace it with a circuit breaker. It's even in the SANS document. All your batteries, go look at the manuals. It doesn't say put in a fuse. It says a DC breaker. But I think they must just specify that non-polarity DC breakers.